So now that we got this conduit in, what's what's we got the this is the power box area that we're at right here, right? Yes, this uh, this is the uh, the power for the uh, pier mount for the telescope. And that's that square. This is the square here in the center of the room. That's for the pier. Yes. We're gonna dig this hole out and then fill it up with concrete and set the the telescope the pier. pier. And these conduits are stubbing out right beside the pier, so we can run power and signal uh, cable up to the uh, telescope and uh, or uh, uh, camera. Does the dome um, builder seller? I mean, how's his? Has he been giving you decent instructions and? At least getting you set up so that the, the build's going to be all right? Or, I mean... Yeah, we've got a good idea as far as the build and the support structure and all that. We're, and there's actually a wood mounting ring that we have to mount on top of the building in a flat area uh, so, that the actual dome will ride on top of. So. And that's going to be... The reason why we don't pour the, the, make the hole in the concrete right away is because we need to put the top on and center it, drop a plumb line. We need to center it, and mainly we need to see how high that pier needs to be inside the building because we actually have a uh, pier tech uh, adjustable uh, pier going on top of our permanent pier. So, they, the, that so we have some adjustability. And it goes up and down. Exactly, depending on what scope you want to use. And so this, is a, this one pipe is our main power in leading to the the pier and then we're gonna splice. And it, it fires off of, of a, a 12 volt converter uh, to, to run the telescope and the camera and the dew busters uh, any, anything that needs uh, 12 volt power this is what this is for here. And somebody was talking about they had just purchased this last draw and they were asking me about how much weight if you're watching the video now and we talked about how much weight if you keep it to five pounds and you're, you're probably gonna be okay but our all the, all the extra stuff we put on the Celestron and Bob Celestron, we just needed uh, bigger. C G E M is that what he was? Uh, I think he was about? getting. I think it's the, the original. It's one. rated 40 pounds, but to have consistent tracking, I understand after asking lots of questions, uh, you don't need to load up at 40 pounds uh, to within, I guess, max 60 percent of that 40 pounds in order to have consistent tracking. So you, they may say 40 pounds, but you probably only really got 36, 30, whatever. I mean, it'll drive anything you hang on it, but whether it's consistent going to your object, that's something else. If you overload it, you're going to have inconsistencies what, what's going to happen. Yeah, and that's the biggest thing, especially when we were doing the, the, the mobile type of setups. It takes you so long to set up, and then... I mean, that's why this observatory is going to be so sweet. You do your uh, two-star alignment, then you go back and do your polar alignment, and then because you've got your mount so overloaded, it doesn't matter because it's still going to be inconsistent. Yeah. You can't old, find anything. There's an old Texas clay. Texas clay. Have you uh, stepped on it yet, damn it? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Before I got it all up in there. And I'm going to push it on there. I'm kind of just throwing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's hot, people, and it's not even very late in the afternoon. But uh, matter of fact, it's pretty early in the morning. <laughs> that's what we're doing over here, laying pipe, and we're almost done. And then we're gonna call it a day. We'll go relax. Oh yeah, the Texans won yesterday. I wasn't even able to watch the game yesterday. If anybody's interested in football, the Texans are gonna kick your butt this year. So I'll take any bets you may have with your team that's going to get beat by the Texans all year long. I think we've been waiting long enough. Yeah, see, some of this dirt's getting back. How's it looking, okay? Yep. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be happy to get out of this grid. I'm, I'm gonna be happy to get off the grid, people. I'll never play hopscotch again. Man, this grid sucks. If you wonder what the hell the grid is, the grid is this framework of. I know some of you are gonna say I know what the grid is, but for anyone who doesn't know what the grid I'm talking about is this framework of rebar that that's gonna be suspended in the foundation which, slab. Which makes the concrete work real well. Makes it rigid. Saves it from. Yeah, shovel behind you. Uh huh. Yeah, I 
the kind of stuff that makes the day fun. It, it could be cooler. I bet you we're going to get cooler weather. I really don't doubt that we're going to get cooler weather. I tell you what, they should, sure do have some cool rocks. I swore I found a meteorite yesterday, Bob, but you know what it looks like? It looks like the, what it is, it's like some of that Texas clay is just turning into stone. Well, sure if our tent for the meteorite's a magnet. Yeah. But like, look at that. It's all this purple color. Like when you break open the, the, the clay, you find purple in the center. This looks like the clay just turned to a stone. This, I'm going to taste that. That. Tastes salty. Really salty. What is salt lick? I'm licking rocks now, Bob. Oh boy. I'm licking rocks, people. A real rock licker. And that's the clay before. Let's see if you see that. I don't know if you care, but from when we get to see it. See? That's that's the clay that we get. And then when I that stone I just picked up is more of that purple color, that, that color right there. That's pretty cool though. I like the clay, but it's terrible to dig through. That's a beast. Plastic and just lay across it and be done. Well, I still got the piece that we can lay back and then do the uh, Jimmy Jimmy. The Jimmy, the patches. Okay, you okay with it? Yep. What you need to do before you go in is maybe look around and see where you want an extra tie or not, or we can. Well, we'll, we'll go over and take it. Okay. I ain't gonna worry about it. Okay. So they gonna come and pour on Monday. Monday or Tuesday. So I may be out here, people, when they pour. So that'd be fun. I think that I think I'm gonna make that happen because we, you know, Bob's got to go do his day thing, and um, I can come over and watch them pour, and then we can all see them pour. And then, uh, you know, see that happen. And now we're here. We did. It's here. I'm seeing the blue handled one. Ouch. It might be in the other box. Right there. Here. One second. Look there. Here it is. I don't know if the camera. The camera's going to run out of time, people. So if you just get shut off in the middle, it's just that's the way. And we'll talk to you later. You know you can find me online later tonight. Good then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me just put that down there. That's there. Just lay it out a little bit. Yep. You want to do a diagonal like that's, that? Lay the whole thing that's down? That's perfect right there. You want to find one for the other area while I'm doing this? All right. I'll just tuck it and I'll straighten it out. How we work. Teamwork. Working together instead of against each other. What a concept. And see, if you, there's plastic here, people. For oh, it's like a rate. It's like a barrier, a moisture barrier, in between the dirt and the concrete. That's what it is.
box and a couple of bills. I'm going to walk and cool off for a couple minutes. It's sick. How's that? Is that all right, Dan? That's perfect, Dan. It's underneath some of the pressure clamps, too, so it'll stay there. It's fine. Go inside, bro. I'll pick stuff up. Take something and I'll pick up the rest. Is this, this is the whole piece? I can get this whole piece under there and you'll be all right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Where are my peeps? Are you there, peeps, or did I run out of time? Oh, we're going to run out of time. I'm just going to let her run out and watch me from the shade. You all are in the shade, and I'm going to go...